wait a second, an apocalyptic movie in which a bunch of actors who normally play themselves in every movie are literally playing themselves? Okay, movie, you got me curious. So that's basically the plot of This Is The End, starring Seth Rogen, Jay Baruchel, James Franco, Jonah Hill, Craig Robinson, Danny McBride, with Michael Sarah and Emma Watson. Yeah, I got it all right. Cool. It's basically an apocalyptic comedy that stars the people that I just mentioned playing themselves. Jay Baruchel is coming into Los Angeles to hang out with Seth Rogen. And the two of them head over to James Franco's housewarming party. All of a sudden, a massive earthquake happens, and people left and right are either being sucked up by a light, getting killed, or trying to survive the apocalypse. This forces the main characters, Seth Rogen, James Burchell, James Franco, Jonah Hill, Craig Robinson, Danny McBride, to survive in James Franco's house and stay alive. So this is the third comedy I've seen this year, and I'm happy that this is the first one I saw that either did not piss me off, or didn't have me predict every move it was going to make. So this was such a breath of fresh air to see, and even though Judd Apatow doesn't have his name on it, this really does feel like an Apatow type of movie. I mean, you got pod humor, you got the director of Pineapple Express helping Seth Rogen direct the movie. You've got all the actors, or most of them, from this so-called Apatow circle. And it's really funny. It's got some great jokes. There's a lot of cameos from other celebrities. Um, like, there are cameos from Rihanna, Michael Sarah, Jason Siegel. My favorite is Emma Watson. I mean, I already love Emma Watson as Hermione from Harry Potter, and I think she's an incredibly talented actress. She's basically the Harrison Ford of the Harry Potter trio. She's the only one who seems to get any kind of work after Harry Potter, whereas the other two are just... I don't know where they are. But whatever the case, when her big scene comes up, it's hilarious to see that Hermione image that you picture Emma Watson as suddenly just shatter with what she does in this scene. I won't say what it is, and you've probably seen it in the trailer, but it's pretty funny. And there are other great moments in this movie that I won't spoil it because it's best you just discover it on your own. While this movie does have some negatives, they are either nitpicks or something that could be a strength of the movie. Uh, there are some special effects sequences near the end, and the CG on them just looks... It looks like crap. It looks like... Basically, it looks like the T-1000 from Terminator 2. In this day of age, it's not that impressive. It just looks like crap. Not not dissing the T-1000 effects in T Terminator 2. In that movie, it worked. But if that, those exact effects, texture-wise, were brought today, it would be the effects of this movie. Just awful. However, for most of the movie, it takes place in James Franco's house, and it's sort of a bottle movie in a way, so... A lot of special effects don't play a part in it, so that's a nitpick of mine. Another issue I have is that the movie runs a bit long. It felt like a never-ending series of Tales of the Apatow crew. But, you know, to be honest, if I was stuck in a house with a bunch of my friends, it probably would feel like an eternity also, and we would probably act in the same situation as these guys are acting. So, I don't know. I... Any complaint I have just seems to not affect this movie that much, which is good, actually. Even though I've said that this movie is really funny, and trust me, it is, there was only one laugh-out-loud moment. The other moments were just kind of casual laughs, like, <laughs> or just kind of chuckles, or just <laughs> moments. However, that being said, it is not a bad sign at all. It's still a really funny movie. It's good. But because I didn't have many laugh-out-loud moments as something like Zombieland or The Hangover, it's not great. It's really good, and I had a 
really satisfied feeling walking out of the movie theater. Is it going to be the best comedy of the year? No. I predict The World's End is going to be the best comedy of the year. I mean, Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz? You can't go wrong. So, that's my review for This is the End. Uh, this has been The Cinemas with Mr. Robinson. Leave a comment, subscribe, check out my other channel, AlexG8462, and I will see you guys later, assuming the apocalypse doesn't come at this very moment. Bye.